So, Charles, um, it's no secret that you were the pioneer of the franchising business in the Gary Ron brand. About six years ago, you took a big brave step and opened Midstream, and now you're the proud owner of Menland Main. Yes. So, we wanted to chat a little bit about integrity of hair and condition and how important it is. So, I think from a franchisee's perspective, or the reason why you bought into the brand, what does condition really mean to you and, and, and why is it important for us? I think once you realise that every single canvas that you work on is different. Mm -hmm. So the better, better the canvas is that you get to work with, the better results you can achieve. Yeah. It's, it's the best thing if you work on a beautiful set of hair mm -hmm. and the results as a hairstylist that you can create from mm -hmm. that it's absolutely amazing. And, and isn't it also true, and I know from my travels, but also that around the world, salons don't think the way we do, and stylists don't think the way we do, because uh, condition doesn't really mean as much to them as, as it means to us. No, it doesn't. Why, why, do you, why do you think that is? Why would it be more important to us, do you think? We measure everyone's condition when they come into the salons. I mean, we have an integrity yes. test, so we have an integrity test where once hair is shampooed, it's in a more compromised state. And we take that hair and we stretch it. And the more the hair stretches, the less protein there is, as you know. Yes. And the less protein there is, the more susceptible the hair is to damage. And um, based on those integrity tests, we have turned clients away. Absolutely. Mm. If the hair is not in the right condition to colour, why would we? Yeah, well, why would we send them out in a worse condition of hair than what they come in you, with? You know, we've often spoken, you and I, about <laughs> the fact that if we could measure hair, and <sighs> if, hair, if, hair, if the best hair in the world was a 10 out of 10 and the worst was a 1, and a 5 out of 10 head of hair walks into our salons, by colouring it or highlighting it or giving it a microkeratin, we take that hair from a 5 down to a 3, yeah. Why would we? Why would we take that client's hard-earned money and, and put it into our into our tools? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Yeah. It's it's not fair towards the client, nor as a stylist is it fair towards the actual hair you're working or on. Or the brand. Or the brand. Yeah. 100%. So so in a case of a client's integrity that wasn't good, what would be the what would the plan be? I think the best course of action would definitely to communicate to, to the client properly. Mm. Explain to them, sit them down mm. and explain to them exactly what your treatment program would be. Okay. Make sure that they're using the right stuff at home. Home care is more vital than what people realize. Mm. I also think that taking care of the hair is Oh, it's, it's basically like your skin care mm. regime. Mm. It has to be. So, so the idea would then be if you, if you were a 4 out of 10 condition yes. and you wanted to have strong highlights or blonde hair or maybe a microkeratin to get your hair to maybe a 6 or 7 over a maybe 6 or 8 week period and then do the colour, which makes sense. Definitely agree. Okay. Yeah.